Hey guys, this is Talk About Games, and we kind of have an interesting episode that's a little different from what we normally do. Yeah, we're trying something a little new here. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like it really... We have these new systems coming out that don't have games for them, and they cost more money. Y you know, the greatest thing. Right, so the point of this really is gonna be Pepsi, Coke versus Pepsi taste test type of thing. So we got a group of uh, people together to taste test differences between the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro as far as the Pepsi. And we got people from all walks of life, young and old, and we controlled for as many variables as we could. So why don't we uh, go ahead and check it out. The first question we asked them is what they knew about the PS4 Pro. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The PS4 Pro is supposed to have like mm, she was lovely. It's basically just an upgrade. It's supposed to run faster and it's better graphics like 4K or whatever it was. I know that it has a better CPU and that's about it though. Okay, so for this one, we showed each person the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, and they told us which one that they liked better. It's a little longer. And if the arm is it's literally the same thing. Why? Like, why? Why? This seems kind of big. After we showed them the console, we really got into doing the actual taste test. The one on the right. The left one. I'm guessing the one on the left. After they played the games, we finally told them which one was the PS4 and which one was the PS4 Pro. The one on the left. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <sighs> How? If you didn't have a PS4 system, would you buy the PS4 Pro? It's not something I would ever pick up personally. My DS, bro, 3DS, bro, I'd buy a new 3DS. I mean, it, they both suck. Everyone's still rocking 1080p. So, especially if you did, had a PS4, would you spend the money to upgrade? to the PS4 Pro. If I already have it, no. I've got my PS4. You have. <laughs> fuck no. Who the fuck would do that? I would do that, but. So after all that testing, and it took us like 10 hours to get everybody in and out of there, we had some interesting statistics. 20% of the people couldn't even tell the difference, and 90% of the people didn't care. So there you go. So we yeah. got a bunch of reactions from a bunch of other people to show you, it's, you know, not even, this goddamn thing is a catastrophe. Yeah, it's like, it's it's not. Doesn't sell it for me and didn't sell it for the people we tested. And it doesn't sell it for me either. So. Yeah. Smiling my photos and post it. I'm just a poser who's pretending that he still got emotions. What a loser. 